Thank you. Thank you, uh, dear Prime Minister Motley, Melinda, uh, Bill. Uh, dear friends, um, I'm, I'm very pleased uh, to be here again at the Goalkeepers Conference. Um, so much uh, has changed since uh, 2019. Over the past uh, three years, the world has dealt with uh, numerous crises as we are leaving behind the worst of the COVID-19 pandemic, the war in Ukraine started shattering many of the prospects of, uh, for recovery. Meanwhile, the, the climate emergency is not new, and we increasingly see its uh, devastating impact on a daily basis. The pandemic was a major setback on so many fronts. Uh, children and teenagers around the world uh, could not go to school for one or even two years. Uh, many people were deprived of basic uh, health services. Millions of families struggled, and they continue to do so. Uh, today, many are worried about uh, how to heat uh, their homes and pay the bills at the end of the month. So governments need to act. We need to act uh, on many fronts sim simultaneously. But we, we cannot forget the targets uh, we had set to ourselves for 2013 which is why we need to redouble our efforts. In this regard, I'm so happy to announce that Spain will contribute 130 million euros for the next three uh, years to the Global Fund, <laughs> representing a 30 increase from our previous contribution in uh, 2019. So international finance are essential for governments uh, to tackle all these challenges and uh, we should ensure equitable access to it, as the uh, Prime Minister said. That is why we should prioritize the most vulnerable, regardless uh, of abstract categories like the GDP per capita of a country, which uh, can hide enormous inequality and poverty. Uh, this time around, the world uh, grasped uh, the magnitude of uh, the challenge. Our response to the COVID uh, crisis has been very different from the financial crisis in 20, uh, 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 2008. I, I'm, I'm referring to Spain, but also to the European Union as a whole, uh, to the United States and the international financial institutions in general. Mindset changed, and uh, with uh, them change the priorities. So there is uh, room for progress if we continue building on the positive steps we have taken. Last year, we approved uh, an extraordinary issuance of a special drawing rights, uh, SDRs, uh, and took unprecedented steps to ensure that it uh, benefits those who, who need it most. Uh, Spain was uh, very vocal about uh, the need of uh, doing so and about uh, the need to include vulnerable middle income countries in this mix. This is why we successfully uh, advocated the establishment of a resilience uh, and sustainability trust under the IMF why we committed uh, to allocate 20% of our SDRs uh, uh, to fund this and other existing mechanism, and why we have been the first country in the world to confirm uh, a contribution agreement uh, for the RST. But access to finance should also look at national resources and tax fairness. In this sense, uh, I think that we made a huge progress with the agreement reached uh, within the framework of the OECD and G20 on the taxation of multinational companies and a global minimum tax, reflecting our common desire to rein in harmful tax practices and stop the race to the bottom uh, in corporate uh, taxation. Barbados also joined the agreement, which uh, I think is excellent news. Now we need to accelerate uh, on the implementation front. In summary, uh, we have proven that we are able to take concrete, tangible measures that help people on the ground. We simply need to keep going. Uh, we simply need to keep doing so with the SDGs as our uh, guide in life. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. <laughs>